Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point click adventurer, and this is episode 21 of Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. In the previous episode, I was here pretty much all episode, and um, I couldn't figure out what to do. So, um, yeah, I, I asked you guys to help me out, and you did not disappoint. Um, yeah, a couple of you in yesterday's uh, video... Excuse me. All right, guy brush. A couple in yesterday's video mentioned that um, I need the right hand. I haven't got the correct cards. So thank you to, um, I think it was Lucy Phonic and uh, Matt, I forget the other guy's name. I will I will bring up my phone and um, and quickly like have a look at the names. But whilst I was also there, um, I did put a thing out on, on Facebook, on the Point and Click Adventurers Facebook group, a little plug there, that, um, yeah, I, I need help. Don't tell me what to do. And there was like 15 of you, like, going, dude, you have got, you haven't got enough cards. So, yes, I'm going to go get some cards. Anyway, after all that faff, I've managed to pick up on my phone. It was uh, Miko Lanfors. So, thank you very much for those two lovely people. I'd like to go back to Blood Island. The plan, then, is to go me back too. to Blood Island. This gives me the creeps. And go back to the lady who was in the hotel. And see if I can get some more cards. Because I thought it was to do with the candles, the way the door was opening and blowing away. But... I guess that's not true. Right, I'm going to go super fast because I was aware that I talked quite a lot there. So, let's see what cards, if any, touch wood, she'll, um, she'll give to me. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. Excellent. So, maybe we just need, like, a full hand of death. I'm just going to keep asking and asking until I've got, what was it, four or five cards? I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what <laughs> the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. <laughs> right, we um we don't seem to be having a lucky hand. Or maybe it is a lucky hand. Constantly having death cards. Right, hit me. <laughs> death. How many of those cards do you have anyway? <laughs> yeah, you'd think there'd be a, a deck full of other cards. Right, any more? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you. And no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time okay, for so Guybrush. Okay, <laughs> for Guybrush. <laughs> <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well, demon! Demon! Oh, wow. Um, I am going to ask her again, because I think it'll be funny. I like the way he says, come on, for Guybrush. Madam Zima, I... Be gone. Okay, so we have enough cards. You will bring death to all who surround you. No good can come of this. <laughs> Look at that eyeball. That was cool. Uh, right. I guess we have a stack of cards somewhere. There we go. Tarot cards. I've got five death cards. That can That can be good. Of course it can be good. Right. Where is it? Here it is. The Flying Welshman. Yes, I did. Um, I did make, briefly mention that I uh, my Facebook group has grown to to over six hundred people now. So thank you very much if you watch and you're joining there. It's a good bunch of guys. Next stop, um, I'm gonna try and hit a thousand by the end of June. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. It'd be nice. All right, let's go. It's June the fifth today, sixth. I don't know, but if you want to come and join me, just hit the link in the description down below. That's enough plugging for this episode, I think. Let's just play the game, yeah? Right. This is it now. Let's do it. And we're going to win that diamond. I want to play for the diamond again. <laughs> Excellent. Right. 
Let's use that with that. Five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. <sighs> You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiots! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you oh, no. Don't hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling up for? There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. There's just one thing I need to do first. Really? What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Wait, wait what are you doing? Help! Help! <laughs> oh my god, Guy Roach, you suck the bath. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. What? You can't mean. I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? <laughs> East by northeast. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks a bunch. Ah, whoops. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass like properties for a short time. Whoopsie daisy, but not my problem. Okay, let's go. See you, Lane. Oh, cutscene. Oh, Well, they're gonna still come after us. So I guess we gotta get off this island pretty sharpish. Let's use that with that. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. And then let's use that with that. <laughs> hey, Elaine, are you alright? Guy brush? Well, where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. Oh dear. Part five, Kiss of the Spider Monkey. Um, you know what that needs. He needs a big fat like on this video. Smash. Oh, already. Well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream. I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freepwood. Twas not long ago that I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before. It's some terrible nightmare. Twas no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh no, it can't be. 
but it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. Aye, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There'll be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intended to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine a treasure. Ah, you're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with ye. Wow, so... What, I mean, what is the treasure of Big Whoop? Does anyone know what's so special about the treasure? Please don't kill me. I want to know about the treasure. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood, when I tell thee that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves. Yipe. <laughs> Yipe. Um, how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Please don't kill me. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. <laughs> she loves me. Does not. Anyway, Elaine really loves me. Does not. <laughs> this is to really annoy him. Does too love me. Does not. Does too infinity. Does <laughs> Curse you and your diabolical debate skills. <laughs> I'm totally going to use that in conversation with someone. Curse you and your diabolical debate skills. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did, down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? <laughs> cost? <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to, but it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. Wow, but if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? This whole amusement part. Why? I mean, yeah, I've got that question. Please don't kill me, I've heard enough. I want to know about the amusement part. This whole amusement part? Why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most brilliant idea. Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. <laughs> yeah, but again, yeah, yeah, why? why amusement park? I'll be getting to that. <laughs> I knew Elaine would need a little coaxing, and that I'd be needing an army. A horrible army of the undead. Okay, but why an amusement park? Are you going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, you know. You're right. I've been rude. Please, go on. Everyone knows that the life of a seaman is a long, hard, lonely one. Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. And you know what they're looking for as soon as they get into port, eh? Um. Uh. A family oriented fun park! Oh, that. <laughs> of course. They come to take a ride on the giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. They reach the top of the highest peak and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys. They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the damned. Wow. How did you find Big Whoop? That be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Go on then. <laughs> Back when I were alive, Elaine despised me. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. But I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. 
Uh, been there, done that. What is the secret of Monkey Island? What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island. I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. <laughs> that rosebud is a sled. The guy's girlfriend is really a man. They have to shoot the dog. It's made from people. Right. Um. That a sequel can never be as good as the original? Lies. <laughs> yeah, filthy, dirty lies. lies. <laughs> no, it goes much deeper than that. It's an ancient secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happen to. You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. All right then. <laughs> Let's get on with your story. A few days after setting sail, my ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned, but some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. There I was, marooned, with no hope of winning Elaine's heart. I thought me luck had run out. But one day, a ship made port at Blood Island. Twas the ship of one Captain Marley, Elaine's own grandfather. I struck up a conversation with Rum Rogers Sr., first mate on the ship. And for the price of a few drinks, I learned that they had the map to the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Although I had no ship and no money. Uh, hold on. <laughs> this is gone for much longer. Can I sit down? You know, you could make a fortune. All right, okay. Does this go on for much longer? Although I had no ship and no money, I planned to beat Marley's crew to the treasure and take it for myself. I didn't have the money to buy a new ship, but I still had my greatest asset. What's that? The ability to kill bugs just by breathing? Your resemblance to a moray eel? That your presence makes dumb people seem much smarter? Your immunity to soap? Um... That one. The ability to kill bugs just by breathing? But I still yeah. had my greatest asset. That uh, indefinable Chuck charm. One of the rich young debutantes on Blood Island was helpless against it. After a week with me, she would have followed me to the grave. Unfortunately for her, she didn't get the chance. I pried the diamond from her family's engagement ring and sold it to some cutthroat smugglers for the cost of a new ship. Yes, I know. We're, we're living that story right now. All right, let's <laughs> 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 Oh, come on. You can tell me. I don't want to be talking about that. It be personal. And besides, dead men tell no tales. Oh, I was waiting for that one. With me new ship, I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island. Oh, so we're actually on Monkey Island. Is that like the monkey head from it? If you kill me, if you, but if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? I'm still confused about. Yeah, I am still confused about the carnival. I'm still confused about the carnival. Then ask me, as designer and founder, I can answer all your questions. Oh God! Uh, how did you build an amusement on a deserted island? What kind of attractions do you have? How do you power all the rides? What's in the future for Big Whoop? I thought the treasure of Big Whoop was on Dinky Island. Who told you this was a good idea? I want to know what kind of attractions what you have. What kind of attractions do you have? Here at Big Whoop, we pride ourselves on the variety and authenticity of our attractions. We be using a magical blend of art, technology, and indentured servitude that we like to call Dynamo Monk Electric. <laughs> Frighteningly realistic skins and other body parts are attached to a framework of gears, servos, and pulleys. All constructed from a remarkably lightweight composite material. Fascinating. Hmm, <laughs> fascinating. Right. Who told you this was a good idea? You're insane. Maybe, Threepwood. Maybe. But I did it all for love. I'm mad for you, Elaine, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Right, I do kind of want to get this moving because it's going on a hell of a long time. Right. Um, what happened to Captain Marley's crew? Uh, please don't kill me. 
I've heard enough of your evil stories. Let's get this over with. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not listening. Just... See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. Yeah, <laughs> not listen, I'm listening. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. <laughs> Very well, Freepwood. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think you deserve a timeout, young man. Yeep. Oh, what's he done? Can I do anything? Oh. Am I in here? <laughs> it's not locked. Your plan was flawless, LeChuck, except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. <laughs> <laughs> Why is... Oh my god. He's taking a lane on his roller coaster of death. I got to reach her before she becomes his undead bride. What's happened to his me? His baby guy brush. Foggy. Can't think. I'm swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I got to save Elaine. But how can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? If only I could think straight. Must clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Whoop Carnival, little guy. Come on over here and meet your old pal, Dingy Dog. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh my god, this episode, this game has taken a turn. I don't remember this bit at all. Like, literally at all. Meringue pies, cannon, that's Murray. That's Murray. Well, I like the guy, but this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Let's talk to Murray again. Yo, Murray. Hey, it's you. Are you dead yet? You look different. Not dead, Murray. Just cursed. Cursed? That's perfect. I'm cursed too. Let's join our cursed forces together. And together, we can rule the world. <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry about that he just literally just cut out for a second he went back to my window screen so I missed the end of that conversation but um, nothing happened um, right stack of meringue pies can I pick one up hey what do you think you're doing oh, game? I just want one of those pies yeah well I just want out of this stinking redhead life's tough kid cope Right, Monty Meringue. Is that a person? Let's go talk to Monty Meringue. <laughs> He's a mime. He doesn't talk. The way Guybrush walks is hilarious. Look at that. E -e -e. <laughs> scale. Let's let's stand on the scale. Does that do anything? What does that do? Good old fashioned sturdy carnival scale. Use scale. That's not a toy, little boy. It kind of is, is it? Smuggle Bunny. Seen those before. Well, that's not for free. <laughs> you gotta win it. Alright, Anchor. Can we pick up anything here? Before I go ahead and enter the, enter the park, I guess? Hey, you can't just have that, kid. Wolf Rat. Let's talk to Wolf Rat. Get your mouth away from that cannon, kid. It's dangerous. I think I accidentally went to, to eat the cannon. I don't want to do that. Yeah, kid, what is it? Ugh. Yikes, what is that horrible smell? It's a giant rat suit, you little brat. What did you expect, roses? What's Dingy Dog really like in person? What are you asking me for? I'm just a giant rat. <laughs> I'm just a I'm giant rat. I'm not allowed rat. to associate with His Highness, the Great and Mighty Dingy Dog. Um. What are you guys doing here? It's blow the man down, the most fun in the midway. Hit the funny clown and win a fantastic prize. Watch the pies fly from the cannon with blinding speed and loud report. And if your aim is true, go home with your winnings. Join in the laughs with your happy sailor host, Wharf Rat, and his pal, Monty Meringue. What flavor? What? What flavor are the pies today? I don't know. Lemon meringue, I think. What kind of a stupid question is that? Right, so uh, I want to shoot this cannon. I want to shoot the cannon. I want to shoot the cannon. 
Sorry, little boy, you're too oh, young. No, Blow the on. man down is for older kids. That's discrimination. How do I know it really works if I can't see it go off? Okay, kid, you want to see the cannon fire? Here we go. Lovely. That it? Done. Never mind. Right, we'll come we'll come back to that in a minute. Wolf rat, cannon, rang pies. There's a lot of new stuff here, but I am baby guy brush, and we're gonna be baby guy brush until the next episode. So if you ever have enjoyed this, um, please leave me a like. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, until next time, we'll investigate this massive, massive, ridiculous theme park. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now, and take care. <laughs>